Merry meet! Today I am coming out of the broom closet. What I mean by that is that I am telling you that I am pagan and that I practice witchcraft. It's kind of a bit of a play on coming out of the closet, which is what people do when they are admitting or revealing that they fall under the LGBTQ plus spectrum. I'm going to tell you how I came across my faith and my journey through my own spirituality and I hope you enjoy it. I was 14 when I discovered a book in my local library about teenage wicca and witchcraft. As I read more and more into it, it made so much sense to me and everything just clicked and from then on I realised that I was Wiccan and I left the church that I was in pretty quickly after that. I was pretty quiet about it because I sort of knew deep down that it was unusual and that it was different but I was used to being different so it didn't really matter that much to me. But when you're 16 years of age and you realise that you want to show off your identity to other people and hopefully be accepted in that identity, you end up deciding that you're actually going to openly tell people who you really are. So I made a little pentacle out of, well it was actually it was quite large, it was about the size of a teacup saucer. I made it out of an old sheet and I sort of drew in black sharpie a little pentagram and I stitched it onto my school satchel. People started to question me about it and so I'd say oh yeah I'm Wiccan and I practice witchcraft. Essentially I came out of the broom closet to my entire school and it was not very well received. Word of advice do not come out in secondary or high school. I was ripped to shreds. I was ostracised by a lot of the girls at school because they thought I would curse them to look ugly or would turn them into frogs. Someone stole one of my witchcraft books out of my bag and said, oh I did a spell and it didn't work so it's not real, ha 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 ha. And uh, generally just gave me quite a bit of abuse. So I got rid of the pentagram on my bag and I destroyed my book of shadows and said nothing more on the subject for quite a while. I also um, tried to come out to my shared life carers whilst I was living with them in my hometown and I had again I had a really bad reception. Um, the man of the house was like this is a Christian household I won't have any witches under my roof and his wife who was actually my carer wouldn't defend me in any way or, or sort of giggled and laughed it off and again would make me feel bad. They'd often crack jokes like when I would say that I couldn't get to college that day because or that I was struggling to get somewhere. But, oh why can't you just get on your broomstick and stuff like that and even when I was hit by a car uh, they actually commented on my Facebook status of me announcing that I'd had an accident and I was in hospital. They were like, oh, why couldn't you have you've just flown your broomstick over the road? Yeah, they actually said that. So I cut them out of my life completely once I left for university because they were horrible, absolutely horrible when it came to my faith. And they made me feel so bad about myself. Around this time, I did briefly have a YouTube channel that I sort of talked about witchy stuff on, but uh, I'm not going to revive it or attempt to, to do anything with it or recover it because I wasn't in a good place. Partially because of that and partially because I was in a really, really bad relationship um, with a guy uh, who I was actually engaged to be married to and he didn't accept me either. He, d he didn't accept that I said to him I would like to have a hand fasting ceremony as part of my wedding 
and he was like no 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 we're having a civil ceremony and that's the end of that and he thought my faith was weird and that I should keep it very much on the down low and keep it quiet basically he was completely unsupportive al along with a lot of other issues in the relationship I left him when I was 20 and I'd obviously moved away to university as well so I completely cut a lot of my old life behind and whilst I was at university I met a few people who shared the same beliefs as me for the first time in my life other than on the internet I was actually talking to people who validated me and I edged myself out of the broom closet again and it felt so good to be able to do a full moon ritual with the pagan society that I actually revived and set up on campus for a good couple of years. I was the president of it and we did like rituals, we had meetups once or twice a month where we would talk pagan subjects over, over sweets and drinks and yeah we just had a great time, we had a laugh, um, we used to go on nature walks, and be mindful as we did so. We'd uh, think we'd message each other to wish each other happy AS bats and happy sabbats as well, which was absolutely amazing. And it kind of leads me on to now. When I'm more mentally ill, I tend to neglect a load of my life. I neglect my eating and my sleeping and my spirituality. I'm always going to be Wiccan and I'm always going to be Pagan. I'm always going to practice witchcraft. I don't necessarily have to be doing it 24-7 to be that person, but that is who I am and I am never ever going to apologise for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, give it a like, a subscribe as well. If you'd like to know more about Wicca and Paganism, Comment in the comments below and I will hopefully respond to your questions in another video. Blessed be and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!